if you do very soon your attachment to this world will be then cut who will cut high class of your shishya santaye vasta chintanti manavasanda mukti oh guru vaishna will cut with their what nice sat nice what is that ten their words their teaching will cut you can help but they are very powerful are very shown they will cut all you and then so you should have taste in hari katha whether no taste go there is sleep comes or sleep there no more <laughs> after some time sleep is will go then we cut so test for and very sweet past times of krishna and the associates of krishna they will tell that a oh, very soon your all sleepness idleness everything will go shivatam shotata that is a new shotata krishna punya shavana kirtana दंतस्तो सुता। इफ यू आर हियरिंग द वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड वेरी स्वीट पास्टेंस ऑफ कृष्ण देन कृष्ण व्हाट यू विल डू लाइक ए बंधु लाइक ए फ्रेंड बोल जाए फ्रेंड हे विल कम इन योर हॉर्ट हाउ ही विल कम ओ बाय दी हरि कथा बाय देयर हरि कथा कर्ण रंगेन हे विल कम इन योर हॉल एंड ही विल बी थ्रू नो ही विल टेक अवे ऑल योर अनर्स अपराध एंड वन थिंग थिंग वेरी शोन सो वेरी केयरफुली वी शुड हियर माया में कम स्लीपनेस में कम but <coughs> you should try to get very carefully hear all this then he will go come in the heart in a form of hari katha from high class of qualified vaishnava and guru and he will brown your heart and clear what to brown all at worldly attachment anger lust and all other things so very soon and krishna bhakti will come nasta prayeshu abhadreshu nityam bhagavat sevaya bhagavat uttam shloke bhakti bhavati nasti and then if your all offenses Unwanting things, unless are about to go away, something, no nama pra, something others. It has been told in Hajan Rasya of these things. <coughs> Then Bhagavat Seva ya. There are two things. Bhagavat. भक्त एंड ग्रंथ भाग भागवत भक्त इज मोर पावरफुल देन श्रीमद भागवत देर ब्लॉक एंड की ऑफ श्रीमद भागवत यू कैन रीच भागवत बट यू कैन नॉट टेक दी एसेंस नो स्ट्रेंथ बट इफ ओ भागवत से बया यू सर Bhagavat means bhakta. There are so many bhaks. Kanishtha, madhya, bhakta. Then again, kanisht, 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 madhya, kanishtha, bhakta. And then madhya, kanishtha, madhya, 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 bhakta. And then bhakta. Then. उत्तम कनिष्ठ उत्तम मध्यम उत्तम उत्तम 
And also, if you explain more, oh, thousands of gradations are of Bhagavad But it should be Uttam Bhagavad Like Paharaj, Parishat Maharaj heard from whom? Narad Goswami himself, where he heard? Sanat Sarandan, Sanat Sarandan. Sanatana Goswami, where he heard? From himself. Rupa Goswami, not Uttam, Balki Uttam, Bhagavan himself, Krishna. So you see one? But in this world, this class of Vaishnava are very rare. Very rare. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, oh, he will be available after one call. But Madhya Madhikari you can find. If you are fortunate. Even by <coughs> Madhya 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 Uttam, you can make them Guru, Shiksha Guru, Guru both. And they will tell Harikatha. And gradually they were they will take out all the bad things. How? By Harikatha. And Harikatha, who is Harikatha? Krishna himself. Then he will come Krishna and as a bandhu, he will clear all these things in heart. Tada rajastamo bhava kam lo Cheta etai anapidham sat sthittam satya sattvam prasidhyam. And then all kinds of lust, anger, tamma, raja, oh, I am all in all, false ego, all will come, go away. And then you will be like, become like tinadapi sunichena, tarorapi sahisunna, amalina. Mahanathya. How Prem will come? Then Mahaprabhu is telling. But, Kirup Laila Nam, Prem Upajaya Tar, Ram. And what he told? Oh, be tall, more than three. Be humble more than a humble. Cross, blade, blade of blade of cross. Give honor to all according to their stage. And don't want any praise or this is the qualification. And if it comes from the core of heart, bottom of heart, then man will give very soon Krishna. Evan Prasanna Manasu Bhagavad Bhakti Yogata Bhagavad Tattva Vigyanam Mukta Sangasya Jayati All kinds of lust, attachment, worldly Everything will go and he will be very happy Jayatma Samprasiva His soul will be always happy Not covered with any sufferings or anything and tattva vijnanam mukta sangasya jaya. And then by the mercy of mukta, liberated soul, bhakti, uttama bhakti, madhyama bhakti. Then bhagavat tattva vijnanam. He will know all kinds of tattva jaya. Jiva tattva, Krishna tattva, maya tattva, radha tattva. Krishna Tattva, even Prema Tattva, everything he will know. Rasa Tattva, Vinda Tattva, everything he will know. Vidyate Hridaya Gandhi. Chintyante Sarvasamsaya, Chintyante Chasya Karmani Dhrishta Yevadana. And then he will take Dasan of Krishna in his heart. And then what will become? As a result, Vidyate Hridaya Gandhi. All attachment from the world. 
and all kinds of doubt will go away. We have so many doubts. Our Guruji, whether knows or not, I think something that lust coming, but my Gurudev perhaps not there. Should I tell him or not? Like this. Krishna is Supreme, Lord or not, who can say? And if doubt comes, then you are tried from by transcendental you will die. Shyante Chasya Karman, all his fruitive cards will go away. Ato Vai Kavyo Nityam Bhakti Paramayam Dhar, Bhat Deve Bhagavati Kurvanta Atma Prasidana. And that is why oh, all the Kavyo Nitya Mukta, liberated soul. Being very happy, they do Prem Bhakti, Parma Bhakti, Vasudeva, Krishna, Bhagavati, Kurvanta, Atma Prasita. This is the only way to be happy. That yours. Jayatma, So we should try to follow all these things. First we can begin. How Narad achieved the Bhakti? I have told you, there is no, not one Narada. He has a big history. He comes in Kalpa, in different, different ways. And in his last birth, he, kept, he became, he took birth from any maid servant. How will this be? Can you? Not Charitra. And Guru Tattva also in that. <coughs> Oma Jnana Timarandasya Jnananjana Shalakaya Chaksuran Militam Jina Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha. Srila Gurudev has ordered me to speak on Narada Charitra, the history of Narada Muni in one as described in the Srimad Bhagavatam in this time. Narada had been committed offense in the previous life as a Gandharva to the Sankirtan party, so he took birth in the uh, son of a maid servant, like didn't know who his father was, so not a very high birth. But in that position, what once, offense he had done? Where in uh, in the heavenly planets he was Gandharva, and he was mocking the uh, Sankirtan party. They were chanting, and he uh, made some criticism. It was before that? Before that? Oh, I don't know before that. Oh, Shamrani? I just know that he was singing uh, materialistic songs of enjoyment uh, uh, instead of. She said that he was singing materialistic songs. Yes. Not doing enjoyment. But why? He was associating with ladies. Apsaras. <laughs> He is always liberated soul, only for our teachings. He comes in this world by any trick that Brahma has caused So, Gurudev asked about, discuss Narad Charitra. Narad Rishi was son of Brahmaji. What kind of son? He came from his throat. Brahmaji is liberated. Um, Narad Rishi is liberated. 
He is more superior than of millions of Brahma. He is the always the associates of Krishna. He is himself. Naradrishya has so many forms. Sometimes in Dasaras, sometimes Sukhara, sometimes Madhuras. In Sukharas, he is Priyarama Sakha of Krishna, means Madhu Mangal. And in Janilmani Grantha, Srila Goswami Path has explained and his commentary of Rujjalilmani. Srila Vishwanathakavati Thakur and Jeeva Goswami Path has explained. In Madhuras, he is Naradiya Gopi. He is doing austerity to get Gopi Bhav. So Narada is always liberated. But Brahmaji asked him to help him for creation. Narada denied it. No, I not came in this world to create, to help you in creation, in material creation. It is a cause or no? It is uh, against, uh, against our Vedic literature or no? No. Why no? Because we have all come to do bhajan, not for worldly things. And Brahma was telling him that you should marry and make Praja like me, and he refused. When Naraji refused, he told, I am your father, you are neglecting me, deny my order, okay, then you will go to Gandharva planet. They told, okay. I agree. So you went Gandharva planet, became Gandharva. Gandharva means we can sing very nice. If a father is telling that you should not do bhajan, what should you do? Obey him or not? No. And Gita Bhagavad, Srimad Bhagavad told, Guru nasasat sajano nasasat. What to say about father? If Guru also told, don't go to listen any higher harikatha than a Guru. Oh Guru Dev, bye bye forever, bye bye, goodbye. Not to even to what to say about father and mother and other relatives. Even for Guru Dev also mentioned in scriptures. Like Prahlad Maharaj, he cut off relation with his father. Bharat Maharaj means younger brother of Lord Ramchandra. He cut off relation with his mother who gave him birth. In gopis, they give up their connection with their husbands. And Vibhishanji, the younger brother of Ravan, he gave up any kind of relation with his king and elder brother Ravan, Vibhishanji. And Goli Maharajji, when Bhavandev came to take some donation, Sukracharya told, Oh, don't think he's only ordinary dwarf, he's Vishnu. Don't give any donation. He told, Everything is for Vishnu. He's Almighty, Omnipotent, and Omniscient. If I give or not, if he wants, he can tell, so he must give. But Sutra Jaja, oh, if my disciple always will go away, then how I can manage my life? Disciple is my asset, so I have to keep him in my control. So he make any obstacle. Then Bhamandev told, oh, please take, wow, do Achaman. When you are going to do Achaman, then what is not coming out from the Ganga Sagar? Means one type of lota. There is one small tube, the water will come out. He became a fly and covered the hole, the water should not come. Baman they told, Oh, maybe your servants are cleaning, not proper cleaning, not clean properly. Okay, bring one kusa grass and clear the hole. As soon as he did, then blood came and Sukraja ran away. Then he became blind in one eye. Why? If you give any obstacle, make any obstacle for Bhagavad Bhajan, then you have to be blind in this life or any other life. So have to be very careful. Don't make any obstacle, the service of Hari Guru Vaishnava. So Narasit told, okay, he became Gandharva planet, became Gandharva, and associated with so many Gandharvis. So one day, Brahmaji want to make one very big sacrifice. He invited all. And invited Naradrishi also, who became Gandharva, to sing there. So Naradrishi came, not in form of Narad, in form of Gandharva, with so many Gandharvis. And they were singing, what? Not Vaidik song, not from some Vedas. They are singing material song and doing so many, so many bad posture. Then Brahmaji became very angry. Oh, 
you are not listening me you are so many muni rishis has come here and you are making some nonsense thing okay you will be go you have to go to material world and have to be son of a med servant oh thank you now so okay then he came down in this world to help us in krishna consciousness hare krishna bancha kalpata rubhas jati pa sindhu bhaye gacha pritanam pavani thank you so now narada he took uh, birth as the son of a maid servant a, a lowly birth but one time during the chaturmasya the four months of the rainy season when the sages who are traveling will sit down and stop and do bhajan very intensely for those four months four saints came to his mother's uh, her house cottage and they took shelter there for those months of chaturmasya During that time, Narada he was a very well-behaved boy. He didn't uh, misbehave. He didn't speak nonsense. He was self-controlled, and he would serve those sages very nicely and very attentively. And he would hear their Hari Kata because during these four months they would be constantly glorifying and chanting and remembering the glories of the Lord. So he heard so much purifying Hari Kata. One time as they were about to go he asked them if he could honor the remnants of their prasadam so because he had pleased them by his service and his humble and submissive and well behaved attitude they gave him that blessing and when he tasted this maha prasadam maha maha prasadam of these maha bhagavats uh, then immediately his heart became purified and cleansed and he experienced uh, the higher emotions of devotional service he wanted to leave with these uh, sages but he still had his mother was there attached to him and depending on him but they gave him blessing who were these sages they were the four kumaras sanat sanandan sanat kumar and sanatan and So he had association of Maha Bhagavat Maha Uttama Bhagavats and they gave him blessing very quickly after that time he desired uh, to go he couldn't leave uh, some snake came and bit his mother and she passed away so now the young lad was free and he began to go and wander the earth chanting and remembering and and seeing all of the varieties of the creation and seeing how it is all maya the lord's maya finally he found some beautiful place in the forest and there he began to meditate at the time what was the blessing the four kumaras gave him with before they left they gave him mantra hmm? so this diksha mantra om namo they gave him he chanted it very very earnestly and sincerely this diksha what is this diksha uh is composed of two words divya gyanam tato dadyata sam di something is given and uh sankshayate pa something is taken away so what is given is divine knowledge divya gyan this is defined by shila jiva goswami as of two two kinds of divine knowledge uh the nature the specific knowledge bhagavat swarup gyan of the form of godhead that you have a relationship with that particular ishta dev that you are related to and the second type of divya gyanam that one receives at diksha is bhagavat sambandha vishesha gyan this specific vishesha means spe- special specific a uh, sambandha means a relationship that specific and special knowledge gyan that relates to your particular relationship with that that form of the godhead that you are related to so this is what is meant by the divya gyanam tato dadya that is given at the time of diksha and sakshayati pa uh, there are so many types of pa or sin kut ha uh, which is lying uh, un uh, manifest at the time be seeds of sin and then uh parabda the uh 
sin that we have uh, incurred the reactions of now in this body, uh, being one of them, and then opera, that those sins which we have act formed, performed in the past, and now the reaction is just waiting to be experienced. At the time of Diksha, and this is the qualification of real Guru, he can take all those kinds of sins away from your heart. And even, there's a mystery here, uh, the divine nature of the name of the mantra he's giving you will also destroy even Parabdha Karma. How this will be understood in the higher stages of Bhakti. So Narada received mantra uh, from qualified gurus. He chanted, following all their instructions, very sincerely, free, free, sincerely, free from attachment to anything in this world. But he had some small attachment. That was that he wanted to perform his bhajan in a very nice place. So he chose to go into the forest, where it was very peaceful and calm and beautiful, and there he, uh, for a moment, he got darshan of his Ishtadev, chanting his mantra. But only for a moment, and it, when he lost the vision, the sporty, he was, uh, he felt like he had lost the greatest thing. His trance broke, he was crying, he was how could he get this divine vision back? How, why did it appear and why did it gone? And then he heard a voice, a divine voice told him that, O Narada, in this life you will not see me again. But I have given you this divine vision just to increase your greed to attain me. So, uh, there's a very interesting point here about in, in Nam Tattva and Guru Tattva that if even the uh, those who chant Namabhas, uh, Ashrada Namabhas, those who chant the holy name of the Lord, but without any faith, uh, either by as a joke or in anger or to indicate something else, like in the case of Ajamil, if even they will ha uh, uh, achieve liberation and freedom from their sins, uh, what is, and at the same time, those who have prayed, will always see the Lord within their hearts and before them, then what is the position of those uh, sh who have Shraddha but, and are chanting Namabhas? They don't have that complete revelation or divine vision of the Lord at all times, and yet they're certainly more fortunate and uh, of a higher caliber than those who are just chanting out of accident or uh, out of uh, anger or making a joke. So what is that? So, so the Acharyas have commented that those who chant uh, the name Namabhas, but who have faith in the higher stages of their bhakti, they will be given this sporty or a divine vision of their Ishtadev, the Lord of their heart. So this is Narada received all these blessings from his guru, and I ask that Guru Dev, you please give us all these blessings too. About Dhruva. And compared by this is Shloka Anna Pilasita. What quality then, what some lacking was there in? Om Ajnanam Timarandas. Also, you can explain in what category Narad Bhakti was. Om Ajnanam Timirandasya Gyanam Janasalakaya Chaksuram Navitam Yena Tasma Sri Gurave Nama So Gurudev ordered me to, Srila Gurudev ordered me to tell something about the bhakti of Dhruva Maharaj. Dhruva Maharaj was, when he was a young boy, he wanted to sit on the lap of his father and his stepmother said he has no right to sit on the lap of his father unless he's born from my womb. The two mothers didn't get along. So Dhruva Maharaj became very angry and he wanted to attain something in sort of a mode of revenge. He wanted to attain a kingdom greater than that of his father and greater than that of his father's father, that is Lord Brahma. 
So he wanted to see, attain the Supreme Lord and get the benediction of this very great kingdom that he could be the Lord of. So he went to his mother and his mother said that much more than the love of your own mother, the Supreme Lord loves you. First he went to his mother without the interest to go to the Lord. So she turned him towards the Lord and says his love is more than millions of mothers. So whatever you want, you should go and approach him. So with that desire to have a kingdom greater even than the kingdom of Lord Brahma, uh, Dhruva set out to find God. So if somebody is sincerely seeking, then the Lord sends his representative to help him. So the Lord Bhagavan sent Sri Narada Muni to be his spiritual master. And at first Narada was encouraging him or discouraging him and told him to go back home. But Narada was so determined, sorry, Dhruva was so determined that Narada gave him that same mantra. And Dhruva began chanting that mantra. And he began performing austerities. Such great austerities that at first he reduced his eating. Now he's a prince, never walking without shoes. But now he's living in the forest and reduced his eating the first month only to fruits and roots. Then in the next, only to, um, finally after six months, he kept reducing and reducing. After six months, he was only eating air. In other words, only taking a breath maybe once every 12 days. He became so powerful that the Lord manifested in his heart. And because the Lord is the most heavy, so Dhruva Maharaj also became heavy. And he became so heavy, he was doing austerities of standing only on one foot and only eating every 12 days one breath of air. So he became so heavy that his one foot pressed down the earth. And the fact that he wasn't breathing made the whole universe as though not breathing and the whole universe began suffocating. Our Srila Prabhupada compared this to a person who's in an airplane. Ordinary John Doe is in an airplane and this airplane is going 2,000 miles an hour. So this ordinary person being on that plane is also going 2,000 miles an hour. So because he, he was more ordinary, but because the Lord was sitting in his heart, who is the most heavy, so Dhruva Maharaj was able to become heavy. Although the completion of that analogy is that a person who has love of God who is sitting in his heart, he can purify the whole universe just by his presence in it, as with our Srila Gurudev or Srila Prabhupada and other pure devotees. So the demigods began to pray to the Lord that the whole universe now is suffering because of Dhruva's penances. Please give him your darshan. So the Lord appeared to Dhruva. He disappeared from his meditation and reappeared outside of him. And Dhruva Maharaj was able to see him. And all his senses were engaged in the Lord's service. He began drinking the Lord's form with his eyes. All of his senses began being engaged in the Lord's service and he couldn't even speak. He was stuttering. He could not even ask his prayer. So the Lord touched him with his kancha, Lord Vishnu, and then uh, Dhruva Maharaj, uh, he knew Dhruva Maharaj's desire. So he told him that he would give him a kingdom that is not exactly Vaikuntha, but it's Ramapriya Vaikuntha. The Vaikuntha planet, is it Ramapriya Vaikuntha or next door, Dhruvaloka? Ramapriya Vaikuntha in this material world. He couldn't attain that Vaikuntha outside in Paravyoma, the transcendental realm, but there is a Vaikuntha region here. And he became the, uh, he was able to reside there and become like a king there. Then, uh, after ruling in this world, when that was complete, 
He went home and he became the king. His brother uh, was killed and Dhruva Maharaj became the king. And while he was the king, he had lots of very, very good association. Sometimes Narada Muni came to see him. Sometimes other great sages came to see him. And gradually he became free from his desire to rule. Then when he was, it was time for him to leave this world, to leave his body, the Lord was going to take him to Vaikuntha. But he started thinking of his mother. And so because he had some material attachment, he could not go to that Vaikuntha, but attain that Vaikuntha in this world. So Srila Gurudev asked us to relay what we hope we remember properly from having heard from Srila Gurudev. His bhakti, because it was motivated with a material desire, it did not fit into the category of Uttama bhakti, bhakti as was described by Sripad Aranya Maharaj from Bhakti Rasamrita to Sindhu Bindu. The, um, one of the symptoms, the um, tatasta lakshana, or marginal symptom of bhakti, is anyavilasita sunyam, that in natural circumstances, ordinary, his, his natural state of being, he will not have any desire other than the desire to please Krishna. But Dhruva Maharaj has a continual desire for a great kingdom even greater than that of Brahma. So because he did not uh, fall in the category of Anyavilasita or Anyavilas, therefore his plus also the Swarup Lakshana or intrinsic internal um, symptom of Bhakti is that one is always engaged for the happiness, welfare, and benefit of Krishna with all of the endeavors of his body, mind, words, and transcendental sentiments. As Srila Gurudev explained yesterday, while Dhruva Maharaj was engaged in that austerity, he didn't have any transcendental sentiments. So also he didn't engage in senses for the satisfaction of the Lord. He wanted his own satisfaction, and for that he was worshipping. Therefore, his bhakti is not under the category of Shuddha bhakti or Uttama bhakti or pure bhakti. His bhakti is called uh, karma, karma mis sa karma bhakta, bhakti. That is, sa means with and karma, with kama, kama desire, sorry. Sa Kama. Kama means he had personal desires. So therefore, his bhakti was not pure. Srila Gurudev also asked, what is the nature of the bhakti of Narada Muni? And as was mentioned, did to, it, compare. to compare, as was mentioned by Sripad Madhav Maharaj, Narada Muni has so many manifestations. His original form is Madhu Mangal, the very, very intimate Priya Naram Saka of Sri Krishna. So in his original feature, he's Uttam 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 Mahabhagwat, more intimate with Krishna than even the topmost of the five categories of pure bhakti, that is uh, Uddhav Maharaj. He's so much, lacks times more than Uddhav, who is a Oh, I forget the name. Prem, Prem Atur means one who is overwhelmed with love of Krishna and overwhelmed by the love of Krishna's greatest devotees, the gopis. But still, Narada in his original feature as Madhu Mangal is lakhs, lakhs times greater than that even of Uddhav, what to speak of Dhruva Maharaj. Then, in his, he has another form as mentioned by Sri Pad. Madhav Maharaj as Naradi Gopi. Again, Uttam 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 Mahabhagwat. In his form as Narada, he also gets to go to Goloka Vrindavan sometimes and assist in the pastimes of the Lord. He met Mother Yasoda, he met the gopis, he discusses sometimes with Radharani, and even in his other features, as a Rambhakta, 
and as a Narayan Bhakta. Still, he's fully in the category of Anyavilasita Sunyam with no other desire than to please the Lord. And therefore,